I'm Will, welcome back to the Bald Book Geek, and here is my review of From the Wreck. Now this book got drawn to my attention by the wonderful Savage Reads, and you know, he probably is partly responsible for this getting published outside of Australia, um, and I have to admit I do slightly prefer the Australian cover, but that's just my taste here. But I want to talk about this book. so. It's loosely inspired by some historical events of a wreck of a steamship in Australia in in the 18th century. So this man is saved by a being. You, you're never sure what this being quite is until everything is explained later on. And I'm not going to go into that too much because it will be major spoilers for the full book. But you have two stories playing out within the same novel. So one side of the book is the human story, and it's written like a historical fiction. The other side of the book is the alien story, the shape-shifting creature that is actually genderless, but for ease of reference I'm going to refer to it as she. Just because if you read the book you understand what I mean by that. Um, so you have those her side is written completely differently. She is an alien to this world, she is exploring this world, and wondering what the hell is going on. Their story intertwines, it crosses over, she appears to him, she's following him, she's obsessed with him, and you have this interplay of these two people, well, I say people, him and this creature, and both their observations of each other. You find out later, throughout the book, with her story and what actually happens, and it's actually a, a quite a oddly bittersweet ending, but I mean that in the best way possible. Again, I'm not going to state the ending because that will ruin it for you and you will hate me. But it's a beautifully written book and just one that, if it hadn't been for Simon, I would never have read it. That's what Savage Reads, you know, it's, it's one that probably would have passed me by. But I inhaled it in a weekend. It's only 200 70 odd pages so it's not a particularly long book but if it was any longer I think it would be overkill because it's night the story plays out in such a way that it wouldn't suit a longer book I think one thing I do well I say this I, I think with the book you with from the wreck you will have those moments where you're reading it and it will get under your skin and it and the pacing is really good I'm a pacing geek with books and I detest it when books pacing is all over the place and, I mean, I've read some absolutely dire books, but this is probably one of the best. I also want to say that I've put a link in the doobly-doo if you are interested in buying this book from Amazon or Book Depository. But, you know, you her story, the, this alien creature story, is beautifully sad and bittersweet. And you just end up feeling quite sorry for her and quite, like... Oh, you know, kind of been through hell and she's kind of too late. And that's a little bit of a spoiler, but not much of one. And when George and the main characters realise this, you kind of have those moments where you kind of sit there and they sympathise with it. And, and it's just beautiful. That's the only thing I can describe this book as. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's my quickie little review of From the Wreck. Um, do check this book out. It's a phenomenal read. And please like and subscribe and comment as always. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.